luteinizing hormone, or LH, is one of the gonadotropins, one of those hormones made from the pituitary, which affects hormonal release from the gonads. Both FSH and LH are released from uh, pituitary cells, and known as gonadotropes, and are stimulated by the hypothalamic hormone GnRH. It is a faster pulsating release of GnRH from hypothalamic neurons, which results in the secretion of LH. Like all pituitary peptide hormones, it possesses the same alpha chain to which is attached uh, a chain of 114 amino acids, the LH beta chain. Different modifications of uh, LH uh, produce different isoforms who vary in the uh, carbohydrate chains attached, the sialic acid content, and sulfate uh, groups, and thus as a result different isoforms can vary both in when they're produced, so there are variations during different uh, parts of the menstrual cycle, and at different uh, points of a woman's life. Certain forms are produced uh, more frequently in younger women uh, and others in older women. In addition, they can vary in their bioreactivity up to a tenfold difference in the reactivity of different isoforms of luteinizing hormone. Follicles do not respond to LH during a majority of their development because they do not synthesize LH receptors until the very final stages of the mature follicle. Thus, as FSH levels begin to drop in the preovulatory phase of a menstrual cycle, the follicle begins to respond more to LH, and thus this final stage of follicular development is known as the LH-dependent phase. The cells of the theca interna, which make the LH receptors, respond to LH by converting cholesterol into the androgen precursors of estrogen that the granulosa cells, which make receptors for FSH, will convert into estrogen. Just prior to ovulation, there is a 24 to 36 hour surge in the production of LH, which is the trigger for ovulation. LH causes the follicle to decrease the number of gap junctions uh, which uh, connect the oocyte to the cumulus granulosa cells. And as their interaction then decreases, the oocyte resumes meiosis, completing the first meiotic division and then uh, pausing in metaphase two of the second meiotic division. LH will also cause the follicle to increase the production of a number of enzymes, such as metalloproteinases and plasmin, which will begin to digest the wall of the follicle, especially digesting the collagen composing the wall. Smooth muscles in the wall of the follicle will contract and create pressure, and this will then uh, burst the contents of the follicle through a hole which develops because of this digestion. The secondary oocyte and the surrounding cumulus granulosa cells known as the corona radiata are released from uh, the vesicular follicle and the oocyte will then be taken up by the oviduct and the remaining follicular cells will become the corpus luteum. 